Hello there. This is going to be a special love reading for all signs because this is a new moon in Gemini reading. Those of you who know me know that new moons wipe me out. I am exhausted during new moons. I just feel so tired. It was like 10, 11 o'clock here in the morning and I was already falling asleep and needed a nap. All right, here we go. For the collectives. I'd like to start out with, let's do midnight hour first. My midnight hour oracle for the collectives. Mm, give pause, rest, time off, relax. Yeah, if you feel really tired and sleepy this weekend, um, chillax. Just breathe lay down eat a snack drink some tea drink some coffee go for a walk read a book this is about resetting it's what i feel resetting your energy a uh, crossroad change it's a fork in the road i heard rest up that means that there's going to be big changes coming. So this is almost like a calm before the storm energy that I feel. Now with the crossroad card, see how something's coming. It could be you meeting someone. Someone new. Open road. Yes, new beginnings. New beginnings. Clean slate and journey. Hell yes, some of you are meeting new people. But this is also about you changing direction and course. This could be universal change, so it's something that you don't see coming, something that you don't have control over, but not necessarily in a bad way. You have the clock tower. Countdown. Ooh. Midnight hour. Perfect timing. This comes in, I heard clutch. I think this could be someone coming back. Don't get me wrong, bitches. These are new people too. These are new beginnings, new journey, new options. But I think someone comes back. Sacrifice, exhausted, depleted, goes back to the pause energy with this new moon energy. Um, but I gotta be honest with you. I feel like they're, they're exhausted. They're depleted. It's their pride that's worn them down. Do you know what I mean? They may have tried to change direction. They tried to take a turn. They've tried to go and do other things. And I think at this point, it's like undeniable. They're exhausted. It's, it's too much fighting this. It's, they're whooping their own ass. By going against the grain, it's like in the ocean, right? When you fight against the current, it's so exhausting. And you're going to go nowhere. You're going against the grain, against the current. And I feel like that's what they've done. They have Someone here has gone against what was aligned for them. They went off in alignment, right, with that crossroad. And I think it really fucked them up. Commitment. I don't want to be alone. I feel like that's what they're saying. I'm tired of doing this. I'm tired of being alone. I'm, I don't know why the fuck I do this. Why do I keep self-sabotaging? I don't understand this. I do want to be with somebody. I feel like they're coming into this realization that they do want love and commitment. And they've been going about it the wrong way. Free spirit. I mean, yeah, they may have been that type of person. They just didn't want to commit. I don't want to commit. I don't want to be committed to anybody. I want to just fuck around. I just want to be single and I want to just date. No strings attached. That's what this feels like. It feels like someone here was doing the no strings attached, friends with benefits, non-committed thing. And it wasn't, it's, it wasn't working. It, it ran its course. It's exhausting. 
meeting someone new and then going it, it's like they have to go through this whole cycle every single time i mean you have a love offer that's been sitting here on the bottom of the fucking deck that's what's always been forbidden forbidden for them is no love sex only no commitment no strings attached and something inside of them is shifting something inside of them the divine feminine well it's probably because they met the right one for some of you it's because they meet the right one they meet her the one who changes everything the one who makes them see life differently the one they want to change for and be a better man or woman for There's something forbidden about it though maybe she doesn't want to commit wouldn't that be a motherfucker that's their karma too y'all they don't want to commit they don't want to commit then they finally meet someone that they fall madly in love with and that bitch don't want to commit to them that's how karma works she's like mm. perfect match oh <gasps> Oh my God, they meet their perfect match and she goes, I want to be like no strings attached. <laughs> oh my God. It's hysterical the way the universe works. Honey. Oh, independence. Yeah, no, nah. she goes, you know what? I'm not really looking to settle down. And they're like, excuse me, every bitch I've ever met in my entire life wants to settle down. And she's like, no, I don't. They're like, the irony is I want to now and you don't. Karma is a bitch. Karma is a bitch. Oh my God, it's hysterical. Liberation, not as bitch is not trying to get tied down. Mm -mm. She wants to be free as a bird. Obsession will not leave the bottom of the deck. They're obsessed with this. They can't stop thinking about it. They they can't stop strategizing about it. But then I don't feel like they do anything. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, so they stress themselves out trying to figure out what they're going to do. But then they don't do anything about it any fucking ways. So it's just sort of like, uh, you're not going to do anything about it anyway. So what do you, why are you freaking? They're, it's like they're stressed. They're so stressed out about it. Oh my God, the emperor with the hermit bottom of the deck. I saw the signs and it opened up my eyes. I saw the sign. Now they see it. Emperor Aries, hermit Virgo. Okay. But really it's about a fucker. This is about a fucker who sees it now. They see it. They get it. The light has been turned on and the irony here is i want to commit to them and they're saying they're not ready to commit to anyone karma is a bitch isn't she yes three coins i'm ready to work together i want to do this you and me us it's fucking partnership they want to be partnered but the one that they fa have fallen for doesn't want to be in a relationship yet maybe because she's saying well fucker you have to earn me but i don't know man all those cards came out it really does indicate the feminine here is not trying to be tied down right now she doesn't want to be. They have death. I mean, yeah, this is a major spiritual death for them, for sure. Right? And so the four of wands here again, that's the whole commitment again. The three of wands was in the middle of it. And so it's like this happened and it just like turned their world upside down. Right? There was a death happening here. Spiritual death. The death of their old self. Death of pride. Death of ego. Whatever the fuck this is. It's a transformation. The transformation is they went from not wanting any commitment to wanting to be with this bitch forever and ever and ever. But she doesn't want to be committed to them. She's like... Mm. 
I love being single. And they're like, what the fuck? She's like, yeah, I'm just not looking to settle down right now. I'm enjoying life. I, I have a lot of girls trips planned and like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be doing this, this new stuff and they're mind blown. You got me tripping. Dun, 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 I'm falling in love. This is all for this is Fergie. Tripping. That's what this is. Go listen to that song. I love it. You have judgment. It, it was never over. If these fuckers walked away from you and pretended like they didn't give a shit, right? Cut off communication and contact. They're coming back. See, rising from the dead. It's resurrected. They're coming back. can't shake it this is also about someone that you haven't heard from in a while coming back to communicate with you of course they've got to take your temperature and test the waters here but there's been a there's been a, a change here something in, in here it's in the inside something's shifted they may actually communicate that with you i mean for some of you they, they may actually spit it out and say it like hey i was a fucking idiot i do i want to try and make this work what can i do She's like, I don't know what to tell you, buddy. I'm not trying to settle down. Of course, if it's really the one and they're a perfect match, she will. She'll fall, fall head over heels in love as well too. But there's something about her. She's elusive. They can't get her. She's like the butterfly that they can't catch. She's like the devil. They're obsessed. You have obsession everywhere here. They're obsessed because they can't get her. And it's not that kind of a, a thing where if they get her, they don't want her anymore. Oh, they want her. They want to put a ring on it. And I think they realize how stupid they were. Like, wow, that, that woman was in love with me or that woman was interested in me and I fucked that up. What an idiot I was. Right? The devil here shows how they're just so stuck on it. And there's this obsessiveness of wanting to communicate but being so afraid because they don't know what to say. For some of you, it's been a, a period of time where they don't even know if you're dating someone new now. So are we talking a couple weeks, a couple months? You know, there's this energy here of them feeling really stuck. They're stuck on you. Now, Hierophant, it's again a spiritual fucking connection. It's, they feel it in every cell of their body. And their karma is falling in love with someone who tells them, I'm, I'm not sure if I want to settle down. That's their karma. Is to know what that feels like. There's something better. That's where the feminine is coming from. She's like, well, I don't know if I want to settle. Because I just know I deserve all of the great things out there. And like, I don't know if it's you. Wow, this fucker is really getting a taste of his own medicine or her medicine. Listen to your intuition. I don't know. Their intuition screaming. Look at all the butterflies on her head too. It's like she's wearing it as like a crown. That's what it is. You're the butterfly that they can't catch. You're elusive. You're, you elude them. You run from them but not in a low vibrational way of running because you're scared. You are just doing your butterfly thing in the near future, two to three weeks within the next few months. Ooh. Ooh. This summer is about to be fucking lit for some of you bitches. I'm telling you, this summer is about to be lit. Talk about fireworks on the 4th of July, honey. Mm, 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 mm. Let's actually do the Say La Vie Oracle. This is my Say La Vie deck. <laughs> Something is revealed. They have to cough it up. It's putting them out of major alignment. This would make them moody, depressed, fuck up at work, not be able to sleep right, they can't rest well, they're just all over the place because they're out of alignment. They have to cough something up. They have to reveal something. What's also revealed is how much they really like you. I think is also what's re revealed too. Some of you are going to be shocked. It's the fact that they feel it walking away. 
I was, I, I regret it that I fucked up and you walked away. Um, this is the energy also with something being revealed here, this walking away card. It can also indicate that, you know, it was revealed to them the way they really truly felt when they walked away. Say la vie. That's, see the romantic feelings. That's what was revealed. When the bitch left, when she walked away, the, the real feelings of how they felt emerged. And then you have a leap of faith, which is, and the say la vie. Say la vie is, it is what it is. Like, look, it's not going to go anywhere, buddy. If you have these feelings, they're not going anywhere. Do something about it, right? So the say la vie is, it is what it is. And it's making peace with what it is. And it's acknowledging it. And they've got to take some kind of huge fucking leap of faith here. And that leap of faith needs to be coming correct and saying it. And saying, I, this is what I did. And I'm, I, this is what I want. And he better hope and fucking pray that the bitch even says yes or no. I don't know. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into our extended. As you guys know, this is going to be, only, you can only watch it on Patreon. Click that upside down triangle below. Brings up all my links. The second one is to Patreon. Um, in on Patreon, this is where you can watch all of the extended to the special love readings. There's the timeless erotic readings there, as well as some other timeless readings, and it's all exclusive to Patreon. Okay, so thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. I forgot to show you guys. I keep forgetting to bring it up here on my um, readings, but this is the um, Hail Mary candle that I have for pre-orders. It's my newest one. It's a prayer intention candle. It smells like lavender. You can see all the lavender in there. Um, and basically, you light this with the intention of a prayer being answered or to connect with your spirit guides or angels, okay? So anyways, pre-orders are available for that. Just catch them while you can, honey, because after they're done, they're done. And I'm still working on orders. I say this every fucking video and every day. I say it in every platform. I am behind. These are pre-orders. I am severely behind. Um... You'll know when your order has been sent because you'll receive an email with your tracking. If you did not receive that, nobody forgot about you, boo-boo. I just didn't get to your name yet, okay? I have people waiting to get their hands on these products. And if you feel like you don't want to wait anymore, please let me know. You will be refunded ASAP and someone else is going to snatch up your order. Okay, so it's all about divine timing, but I do apologize. I'm behind, all right, guys? Email me if you guys are interested in the $50 um, email readings that I do. I'm opening it back up again because I'm going through my list. I've got about 10 people left. So I'm opening it back up again for another maybe 5 to 10 people. And again, it's the $50 uh, email readings where I take a picture of about 5 to 8 cards spread, email it to you, and then I email you the channeled message, okay? Um, email me saltwaterheelstarot at gmail.com. It's the only way you can get those. So limited time. I'm only going to take 5 to 10 more people. And then I'm going to close that back up again, okay? All right, guys. I'll see you in the Patreon reading. Love you.